YouTube, meet my sister. Laid back, casual, cool. Her style has always had that quality, relaxed look to it. Me, on the other hand, I've always had a flair for the dramatics. So as style opposites, we want to know what it was like in each other's shoes. Or in this case, looks. Why did you put a check mark, miss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this actually kind of looks like her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I miss. Knew. Finish it as much as you can. I really look like a suburban soccer mom. I'm crying inside. I'm too old for this. This is either the worst idea or the best. What is up guys? If this is your first time seeing me, hi, hello. My name is Fran, I'm a fashion blogger and I love to create all kinds of content on styling, trend reports, hauls, DIYs, but my all-time favorite thing to do is give tips and tricks on how to cop luxury styles or just generally fun trends affordably and easily. So here's the sitch. In a few days, my big sister at the Attica will officially be leaving us and moving to Germany. And I figured she could not leave without starring in at least one of my YouTube videos. So that is exactly this video. I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see. And a lot of you want to see a style swap. So your wish is our command. I'm going to go to her closet and pick out some pieces that I would wear. And then she's going to go to my closet and pick out some pieces that she would wear. So we'll be using our own clothes, but in the style of the other. Quick background, I guess you could say that me and my sister are basically style opposites. First of all, my sister is 10 years older than me, so there's already that aspect of it. Her style is generally very laid back and casual. She loves her printed tees, her graphic tees, her t-shirts with like a little icon on the side. But the highlight of all of her fits are her shoes. If my mom has been collecting bags for years now, my sister has been building her sneaker collection since like she probably came out of the womb. She has a stellar collection of kicks and she has cared for them like her own children. My style is generally very extra, thematic. I get a lot of inspo from New York Fashion Week creators. So yeah, you can probably tell that my outfits tend to get pretty over the top. Oh, and probably the biggest difference is that I do dress more on the revealing side, but I like to call it modest hubadera. Since it is technically revealing, but just in a tasteful manner. My sister though, she doesn't like things that are too short or too cropped, so she's definitely more on the modest side, I'd say. So yeah, this is definitely going to be interesting. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm currently in my sister's closet and we are now going to pick out something that I would wear from here. I'm gonna give it a little frown makeover. <gasps> Look at this one! Super pretty leather blazer. Yes, okay. We have one piece. I know for a fact that crop tops are like part and parcel of my outfits, but my sister doesn't own crop tops. She doesn't own anything cropped at all, if I'm not mistaken. So, we're gonna cheat it with a sports bra. Okay, let's see if we can find anything here. It's quite dark. Ooh. Is that what I think it is? Ooh, wait. Just a classic Nike sports bra. Perfect! This is really hard because my sister has a lot of good pieces, but most of them are already in her luggage. So she's already taking them to Germany. So what's left here are like the stuff she doesn't want to bring. So these aren't even the things that she favor as much, but she has worn in the past. So this is a little difficult. Aha. Okay, time to pick the Frances. Maybe I can make her wear this. This was mine when I was like five or something. And she cropped it. What is this even? Feels like a towel. And seems like a winner. What can I get here that isn't like too loud to think of sappy or leather? This is the photo that I will be basing my look from. Generally, you can see that she doesn't wear a lot of makeup, mostly just eyebrows and concealer.
How do you apply your concealer? You do triangles. Okay, she said Tumblr Techniques 2013. All right, all right. That was taught to me by my makeup artist. You have a makeup artist? <laughs> I think we're done with the makeup look because this is really just all there is. He has short hair and I have long hair and that's gonna be a problem so we have to fix that. I think if I just like do that. Okay, first of all, she's a side part kind of girl so I'm gonna side part that hair. Okay, some of the hair is coming off, but we move. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a bob. You don't got a bob. Look at the little. Oh, it's longer, so I gotta make it longer. Ah. Oh. Alright, kids. Now is the makeup portion for my sister. All right. All right. So this is her. So she is going to recreate my usual makeup look, which looks something like this. Ding. Y'all, I haven't put on makeup since 2020. That's far. Pretty sure some of the viewers can relate. <laughs> All right. She said eyebrows. I'm finally a YouTuber. It's happening. I know, right? It's with all the, happening for me. With the white background. Like and subscribe. <laughs> you gotta put a little more, more darkness to brows, miss. <laughs> That's true. For the concealer, I put it here and then here. Like one line here, then one line going up, and then I blend it. Like I don't do a triangle. So two lines. Yeah, so just like one line going like, oop. <laughs> like that thing. And then like Accident that. prone. Okay, you can get this and then you can put it on your finger and then tap it on your eyelid. But don't put a lot or else it's gonna be like over pigmented. Just like a point. If it's not enough, then you just put more in. That's, that's <laughs> not enough. <laughs> that's not enough. That was not Nothing. anything. Okay, next kids, we get to the good part, which is the eyeliner. So basically, I always wear winged eyeliner because I'm not very good at wearing falsies, but it makes it look like my eyes are more open. So we go and we go and see if we can do that. Product, yeah. product review. You have to do like this. She said, I'm so sorry. Makeup. I'm so new with this. It's not even focusing. Wait for it. Just give it a second. I think it's fine. See? It's not gonna end well. I'm telling you now. It's me, 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 me. Oh god. Oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> Just finish it as much as you can. <laughs> Honestly, some people maybe aren't just built to do this. It's like, nope, that's it's just a teardrop <laughs> now. I'm but they, I'm ready for Halloween. They come they look like um that guy from A Clockwork Orange. She wants to show herself. It's a press dealer. Press dealer. Why did you put a check mark, Miss? <laughs> why did she? Why did you put a check mark? Why did you put an actual check mark? Well, you know, maybe it's someone's technique, not mine, but <laughs> somebody else's. <laughs> I have the clothes that I picked out for her here. So this is the first piece 
I am basing it off of one of my outfits on my Instagram. So this is the top. Never go wrong with that. You know, Hobadera vibe. And then we have this guy. I really like the texture of this one. When I saw this, I was like, this is something I would actually wear. So I think this would go well with the top that I just showed you guys. These were the bottoms that I picked. You'll see them full in a set, but I mostly picked them because they're flared. These were actually pajamas, but you know, with the whole Y2K vibe just trending right now, this, this will look good, I think. Well, I don't know. That's just what I was thinking. And if I pick this out, this is probably what I would um, wear. So I picked out basically two outfits for her. This is one. This is a tiny ass shirt. Um, yeah, I favor the color navy blue a lot. It's one of my favorite colors to wear. So there's that. And she will pair it with these Uniqlo cuff jeans. Because I cuff my jeans a lot. And alternatively, she can also wear this also tiny shirt. Um, I also like to wear, you know, graphic tees with like some words or minimal design. And I was hoping to find skinnier, more skinny jeans, but unfortunately she wears flair and not too many skinnies. So yeah, and sneakers, these from Curve sneakers. <laughs> So, she can't see herself, and neither can I. Never tag me. <laughs> Never tag me in this. Put it, put it on my ear. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying inside. I'm too old for this. Oh my gosh, you, that's so funny. You actually look like if I were you. This is crazy. Oh my god. I'm so amused with my own self. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, reveal time. One, two, three. <laughs> no, I miss. Knew. Yes, so you really so are. Awesome. So we got them Karl Lagerfeld slip-ons right here, and then we got them um, Barbie velvet <laughs> flare pajamas. We got her Nike sports bra. Where is your blazer from, Miss? Stradivarius. We got some Stradivarius. Ooh, the earrings look very nice with your hair. We said stay on, and we also stand them sunglasses. My name is Fran. <laughs> Oh yes, she said, "Girl boss, we stand." Yas, queen, do a little bit of posey pose, all dancey down. Do you do? Just, just <laughs> yes. We got them different angles. Yas, queen. Yas. <laughs> she do be. Ridiculous. She do be Fran. We yep. stand. Yep. 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 Essentials. Ting. <laughs> I never Ting. go anywhere without a watch. Like, never. And if I do, by accident, I feel naked. Set Togo shells! All these have meaning to me. Okay, guys, big reveal in time. And go! Oh my god! She's so basic. <laughs> I also, I really look like a suburban soccer mom. This is actually you though, like looser shirt. This is actually you. Longer shirt actually. Yes, longer shirt and everything. We got them kicks. Like my ass pose. Okay. That's true. That's me. <laughs> How come I don't look like a Karen when I dress like that, but you do? It's my bob! I know. Little, little actually, yeah, you need that little bang that I keep. Yeah, she said. Like That's basically me. Oh my god, I just saw myself! <laughs> That's weird. I don't like it. And then we all side handle That's basically all the pictures you've taken of me. And then, you know, insert all the Presley pics. It's bad. A little bang action. Oh my god, I just don't feel like myself. <laughs> I just don't feel like me. And 
And that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun picking out the outfits for my sister. I had no idea that I was ever going to see her in a whole sports bra, flare pants combination. Yeah, I haven't seen her in a basic t-shirt and jeans combo since she was like five or something. Or no, not even. Maybe only for school. I, I really felt like <clears throat> a soccer mom, but I guess, you know, that's some sister style swap. Look at our sort of matching top. So, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to my special guest. You guys requested for the style swap video, so I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> if you want to see the rest of my content, please make sure to follow me on the rest of my socials. My Instagram is francis.beltran. My TikTok is outheaded and my blog is outheaded.me. Hello. I can on IG, that's all I have. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> and remember, anyone can channel cheat for cheats. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> she said not focus. Why are you talking? Okay. And remember, anyone can channel Okay, so this is. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we white as angels? <laughs> hey, Presley, how do you feel about the shoot? Do you care about the shoot at all? Do you want any outfits? Any comments, please? She's falling asleep. She's like.